Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and I'm taking on the challenge again of drawing with a very cheap pen. I was asked to take this challenge again with something else and also I was asked many times to draw a tree. So I'm putting these two together and today I will take the challenge of drawing a realistic tree with a very cheap pen. I hope you enjoy it. This is a pen I will use, very cheap and common. To begin I mark with dots the area I want the tree to be in. I don't sketch with the usual lines as if drawing with pencil because they would show at the end. But with dots we can hide them with the drawing. Now let's sketch the trunk, like so, in some branches. The branches will go up the tree of course, but I don't make them continuously because I want some leaves to be on top of them on top of some sections of them, and as we cannot erase, I'll better leave them blank, for now. And let's draw a line where our ground or grass ends. And let's give some texture to this trunk, and also to the branches, some texture and also we begin shading. I actually like this type of roller a lot for drawing, because if you press harder, the line is wider and darker, so it works pretty well. If anything, a drawback is that the ink may not be very permanent, but let's say for a sketchbook, it is ok. And now let's draw the leaves, for this we do little scribbling movements. And we can draw part of a branch and then some leaves in between. In the last tutorial, you told me to tell more stories while drawing, and today I don't really have a story, but I want to talk to you a little bit about the meaning of the tree of life. Of course, this is a very old concept of very antique cultures, such as the Egyptian and also those in Northern Europe of about 2000 years BC, so about 4000 years ago. Trees, of course, have always been of vital importance for any society. The Celtic tree of life may be the better known, and its design is represented with a circle as the branches come down and meet the roots that come up. So it can be seen as something similar to a circle with a tree in it. According to the Celts, the tree of life had special powers, and when they arrived to a new area and settled in, and they had to cut many trees, a single tree was left in the middle, in the center. And this tree was known as the tree of life. It was believed that it provided food, warmth, shelter, and prosperity to the community. It was also an important meeting place for the high-ranking members of the tribe. Perhaps a central belief or symbolism of the Tree of Life is that all life on Earth is interconnected, interlocked. In a forest, there are many thousands of trees, and their branches touch each other's and combine their life force to provide a home for millions of different species of flora and fauna. By the way, coming back to the tutorial for a moment, let's not do all the leaves even. We can leave some blank spaces, which are empty spaces in which we can see through the tree, and also the leaves are usually in bunches, so we have larger volumes that we can give light and shadow, composed by many leaves. And as you saw, we did the cast shadow of the tree, also not all flat, but leaving some light in between. And back to the tree of life, the Celts regarded them not only as living things, but also as magical. The trees were guardians of the land, 
and they were the doorway to the spiritual world. In fact, the upper and the lower worlds were connected by the tree of life, since a large portion of the tree is underground. And according to the Celts, the roots of the trees reached into the underworld, while the branches grew up all the way to the upper world. The tree trunk connected these two worlds with the earth, and this connection also enabled the gods to communicate with the tree of life. Very good, excelente, it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. Let me know what do you think of it, and I will see you on Tuesday.